Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today is Monday, September the 6th, 2021, and I'm Farid Yunus uh, with uh, Omid24 broadcasting from Toronto, Canada, and I'm in California. Um, unfortunately, um, the situation in Afghanistan gets worse, and this message is for the people of Afghanistan. And... Um, I decided uh, not to talk about my uh, trip to Uzbekistan, but at the end, I like to um, thank a few people for their hospitality and kindness. Uh, but the situation of Afghanistan, and because Afghanistan is uh, occupied um, by the agent of of uh, Pakistani regime. Afghanistan is exploited under the name of Islam and uh, we are also fighting tribalism. So our situation is very bad in a sense that we are uh, we are uh, uh, desperately fighting uh, tribalism, occupation and exploitation under the name of Islam. Islam is a, is a dean of peace in solidarity in brotherhood but unfortunately the taliban are not a representative of uh, true islam in the region in this uh, uh, situation that uh, afghanistan has been occupied it will spread throughout the middle east and especially to our um, neighbor countries like tajikistan uzbekistan kyrgyzstan because this is a cancer this uh, this um, radicalism, uh, Islamic radicalism, is a cancer, and uh, now we have some video clips uh, that um, shows that there are some Arabs fighting in Afghanistan, Pakistanis are fighting in Afghanistan, and a variety of other ethnic groups are fighting in Afghanistan um, uh, uh, in the side of the in the side of the Taliban. Uh, the message is this, that uh, we are with the resistance of Ahmad Massoud uh, in his group uh, for freedom of Afghanistan. Uh, this is uh, my final decision that I just uh, wrote on social media, that we are with the resistance. We cannot accept tribalism, we cannot accept occupation, and we cannot accept Islamic radicalism. Alhamdulillah, we are all Muslims, but we we understand Islam that it's a religion or deen of peace. It's brotherhood. There is no discrimination between uh, uh, men and women in Islam. Uh, there is no discrimination of other tribes, and and and, and uh, even even those who are who are um, uh, not believers, Islam. Uh, respect them. Uh, so um, my message is this: that all over the world, that you are listening this this program for half an hour, all over the world, you need to unite. Uh, put aside all your uh, uh, intellectual difference. <coughs> Excuse me. Put aside all your intellectual differences, um, and, and and thought. Unite under the name of freedom. Freedom for Afghanistan. Because now there is no time that we should discuss the detail of our differences. The time is that we should unite under the name of freedom. Afghanistan has been occupied by a radical group uh, under the name of the Taliban that I do not recognize them and do not acknowledge them. And they are barbarian, savage, uh, radical group that they have been killing people for the last 20 years. Again, as I said last week, this is not, this is not uh, uh, in defense of the previous government. The previous government was extremely corrupt, and the previous government made the, 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 the road or paved the road for their coming. And that's why he escaped, and the whole army, 200,000 people, submitted to the Taliban without, without fight. So this was a deal made by, by Ashraf Ghani and his group to submit Afghan nation to a radical group. The abrupt and, 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 and uh, rapid 
uh, withdrawal of U U.S. troops in Afghanistan. That's another issue that uh, considered to be uh, a major fact of all this chaotic situation. United States could have done much better. We we did not expect the U.S. to stay for for good, but we wanted to to for United States to withdraw with um, uh, with some dignity and integrity. They made themselves a joke in the international scene, and they made Afghanistan a chaotic situation. So, having said all this, this is our situation. Uh, what do we lose? Because um, a, a small group of um, uh, freedom fighters fight a major power. Because this major power is not just the Taliban, that they seized all the arsenal. Uh, left by the Americans and the arsenal left by the uh, Afghan army. We are also fighting one of the largest, uh, um, one of the largest uh, military power in the world, and that's Pakistan, because this is Pakistan that they support the Taliban. Um, uh, look at this uh, in, in the last few days, the, 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 the head of um, ISI, the intelligence service uh, agency of Pakistan, he came to Kabul for some negotiation and some uh, uh, talks. I mean, who invited the, 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 the head of the ISI? So all these scenarios and all these um, uh, uh, episodes tells us that we are an occupied country again. We have been occupied by the British in, in the 19th century, and then we, are, we were occupied by the Soviets in the 20th century, and we fought that, and um, we were occupied by the, by the American 20 years ago, and now for the fourth time we are occupied by a, a major military power, and that is Pakistan. Do not underestimate Pakistani's power and air power in, in, in military power. Uh, but uh, I strongly believe that when we have some determination, we have some, we are united for freedom, and uh, we are determined to fight for freedom even if we lose our, our, our lives as we did already, Allah is with us because Allah is against radicalism. Allah is against um, barbarianism. Allah, Allah is against savagery. Allah is against all sort of injustices. What the Taliban did and what Taliban do right now in Afghanistan is injustice, savagery, barbarianism in, in um, uh, a chaotic situation for women and for masses of people. Again, this does not mean that we do not want uh, 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 an Islamic uh, government, but we want an Islamic government that's, that's not imposed by a group of radical people, but, but um, an Islamic government that came to power with the consent of the people. And that's why I wrote, I wrote um, the Islamic Democracy in 2020. Just, just this, this book is not even one year old. Islamic Democracy, Roadmap to Peace in the Middle East that all tribes are equal, there is no discrimination between men and women, and no woman has, uh, no man has superiority over a woman, and no a woman has superiority of, over a man, and they are all equal from a civil point of view. And there is no Shia and Sunni uh, superiority shouldn't be in Afghanistan, like they did um, this wrongdoing in, in, in Iran, and they did also uh, did this wrongdoing in Saudi Arabia, the two major Sunni and Shia power in the world. Because these mazhab or, or path of, of uh, uh, religious denomination, they appeared after the, 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 the pass away of the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, we want in Afghanistan free of exploitation under the name of Deen and Sunnah. We want an Afghanistan um, uh, that all men and women are equal. We want an Afghanistan that all tribes are equal. 
We want an Afghanistan that all uh, languages, Farsi and Pashto and Uzbek and all other languages of Afghanistan are equal. We want an Afghanistan that, that deen or religion is not imposed on people. The purpose of, a, of an Islamic government is not to impose a deen on, on people because deen or religion, it is, it is an intellectual property. It's a matter of heart and mind. You do not know who believe and who is believing. So deen cannot be imposed. That's why the, the Quran says, Wala ikra fi deen. Let be no compulsion in religion. And we want gender equality among men and women in Afghanistan. Our women are part of, integral part of our social system. We cannot ignore our women and put them at home. And these are the things that the Taliban are doing right now. You, our youth around the world, in Canada, United States, Europe, Australia, all over the world that you are watching my show, unite for the sake of Afghanistan and unite for a free Afghanistan and unite for the sake of liberty and equality. Because now we are living in 21st century. There is no room for radicalism and there is no room for, for um, uh, fascism, and there is no room for tribalism, and there is no room for, for um, a lack of uh, civic, civic life. Because of all this, my message to you, uh, I came back from my uh, vacation on August the 26th, that was Thursday. And last week, the situation got very bad, so I had to talk uh, I, I, uh, about Afghanistan. And I promised you that I will talk about uh, my trip to Uzbekistan and, I, and, and Europe and all that. But there's no uh, uh, patience for that, and there's no room for that. that I should tell you about the beauty of Uzbekistan and the, uh, the historical um, uh, monument in, in uh, galleries and arts and all that I visited uh, because there's no there's no time for that uh, we are much preoccupied with the situation of Afghanistan and in in um, uh, uh, the occupation of Afghanistan there are many many people who are not thinking that that Afghanistan is occupied occupied by a radical group with the support and help and assistance of Pakistan. This should be very clear. And I have studied this ever since 15th of August that I was on my, uh, on my trip. And, um, and, I, and I even during my trip, I have written some pieces on social media about the occupation and about the escape of Ashraf Ghani, the, the previous uh, president who cowardly left the country and submitted the whole nation of Afghanistan to the radical Muslim groups. I don't call them Muslim because if you study Hanafi school of thought or Shafi school of thought or any other school of thought in Islam, what the Taliban is doing and what Taliban did in the last 20 years, that does not, you cannot find it in any school of thought. It is all barbarian attitude, killing innocent people, killing women, uh, 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 subjugating uh, people by force, this is not Islam. This is not Islam. And that's why last year when I saw all these atrocities committed by the Taliban, I wrote Islamic Democracy, Roadmap to Peace in the Middle East. We are Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah Muslim, and we are committed to Islam, but Islam that Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought to us in Medina, that there was no discrimination between men and women, there was no discrimination between uh, 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 Arabs and non-Arabs and uh, there was no injustices against non-Muslims and, and as, 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 you, as uh, I remind you uh, the story of Prophet Muhammad that he um, mediated between a Jew and, and a Muslim and the Jew he was the winner of that uh, uh, dispute because that was his right but now the Taliban are killing Muslims, they are killing Hindus, they are killing Sikhs, um, and they are subjugating women, 
This is not, this is just like Nazi Germany by Germans, German Nazis in Germany in World War II. This is exactly what's happening in Afghanistan. So, history will witness one day that um, these atrocities will be, will bring to justice. But either with, 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 the, with a stroke of a pen, or our words, or the, uh, 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 again, we have to fight. So I urge all uh, Afghans around the world to unite for freedom of Afghanistan. Put aside all your, your, your uh, differences and uh, uh, your intellectual differences you are of uh, political and religious opinions. Put aside everything. Just um, uh, uh, concentrate on freedom of Afghanistan from the yoke of tribalism, occupation, and radicalism. We Muslims, uh, uh, Afghanistan is a country that's part of Central Asia and, and also part of, uh, part of uh, Asia. And also we are at the tail of the Middle East because of the connection with Iran. In our history, for thousands of years, we haven't seen such a atrocities, and we have not seen such a uh, chaotic situation. Even the communists, the communists, uh, 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 were better off than these Muslims, as they call themselves Muslims. And I say that very clearly. Of course, the communists committed a lot of atrocities, killing people, putting people in prison and all that. But they were, were uh, minorities, they were for the right of women, and, uh, uh, they, they, and somehow they were for the right of justice. Unfortunately, even the communists were better than these radical, they call themselves Muslims. So, it is time for us to unite, and it's time for us to to uh, uh, with different means, some some send some funds to the uh, resistance fighters. We have to uh, raise our voices through conferences and seminars. We should write to the United Nations and human rights uh, human rights organization. We cannot sit idle and just watch that they are keep killing our people and subjugating our people by force. Force is not an answer in contemporary political life. We have to all stand for freedom of Afghanistan, and we all, to ha all have to stand for for uh, dignity, for dignity and uh, in integrity of Afghan nation and Afghan people. And we also need to thank uh, uh, our uh, uh, neighbor, uh, Tajiks, who supported the resistance. And we are waiting for other uh, uh, neighbors uh, uh, in uh, world, uh, international world community to stand beside the resistance. If they believe in human dignity, if they believe in, in, in integrity, if they believe in freedom, and if they believe in uh, 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 a, a rule of law by the people, for the people, a government by the people, for the people, and, uh, uh, and that's what, what um, Afghanistan needs. After all these 48 years of war, or 47 years of war, because the problem of Afghanistan started in 1973 with the coming of President Dawood, who toppled his cousin, King Zahir Shah. This is when the problem of Afghanistan started. And uh, uh, because uh, there were some communists gathered around him, and the resistance against them started at that time. So since 1973, we have not had um, a peaceful life in Afghanistan. But I hope, and I sincerely hope, that this is the end of it. This is the end of it. So um, I urge every single man and woman in Afghanistan, around the world, all continents, 
those who are watching my shows, that unite under the name of freedom. You are occupied, exploited, taken, taking advantage of under the name of Deen and Sunnah. And also, we need to fight tribalism. Afghanistan, unfortunately, there's a tribal war going on and it is launched by the Taliban. So we are fighting tribalism, occupation, and radicalism. All of which is condemned by Islam and Islamic uh, values and principles. Islam is not an ideology, as some writers uh, around. Islam is not an ideology. So, um, having said that, um, uh, I just need to. Um, I've been in. Um, I've been in uh, 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 Uzbekistan and, and and also in Europe. Um, the Uzbek people are extremely kind, uh, very hospitable, and very um, uh, amicable, very friendly, and um, I can't really tell you how nice people they are. Um, and um, uh, we have been uh, traveling to Samarkand in in uh, Tashkent, uh, but uh, the, in Tashkent we, we, we stayed a very short time because there was not much to see in Tashkent from an historical point of view at least, uh, but uh, Samarkand and Bukhara were our focus. And um, uh, I just want to thank uh, 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 our uh, uh, our uh, uh, hotel managers in um, in um, in Bukhara. We stayed in a, in, a, in a small hotel called Boutique Hotel Menzifa. Boutique Hotel Menzifa. M I N Z I F A. Menzifa. And there were two ladies. The Taliban should learn from them. There were two ladies, uh, Nargis John and Fatima John that they were extremely hospitable, they are extremely kind and supportive and, and helping with their staff. They were managing, managing Nargis uh, uh, was uh, the major, uh, main manager and Fatima was uh, her assistant and I was amazed with their hospitality, kindness and, and support for their guests. We stayed there like uh, three nights and we had a wonderful time. So um, they were uh, the, the, their hotel is like a B and B bed and breakfast type thing, and uh, from an American point of view, um, uh, but uh, and they are located in a very beautiful part of the city of Bukhara. Uh, but if you plan to go uh, to uh, uh, Uzbekistan and you plan to go to Bukhara, don't miss boutique hotel Manzifa and ask for Nergis or Fatima, that the most kind-hearted, the most hospitable, the most polite people uh, uh, I've seen in my trip. So, um, uh, please, uh, uh, if you plan to go, go in the month of September or, or October, because later it's getting very cold, or in the month of April or May, because we went to Uzbekistan in the month of, uh, in the month of, um, uh, August and it was extremely hot. It was very hot and that was not uh, a very good uh, time for, for Uzbekistan, but uh, we did it anyway. Uh, but if you plan to go, uh, I think mid of September and October is the best time to visit the Bukhara in Samarkand and at the same time uh, April or May. Later it's getting very, very hot uh, during the summer. And also, Uzbekistan is very hot, it's very cold during, um, during the winter time. Uh, so, uh, timing, I think, is it's, it's, it's very important. And the best airline that you could go to this place is uh, by Turkish Airlines. And Turkish Airlines directly take you to, uh, to uh, uh, Samarkand 
or Tashkent uh, in or or you can also take a train uh, you can also take a, a train uh, from Tashkent to Bukhara in Bukhara to Samarkand they have a very very good and um, not expensive uh, train uh, train system so um, uh, because of the situation of Afghanistan what's happening in Afghanistan I did not want to go to a kind of uh, uh, different topic talking about Uzbekistan and this and that but at least I want to 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 thank um, uh, uh, I stayed in many different hotels in that in that area and uh, also in Europe uh, but uh, you also come up with the best uh, hospitality and I had to mention on my show about Nargis and Fatima and uh, I hope uh, they receive this show and I thank you both very much for what you did for me and my wife and my niece. Uh, this is for today's show and uh, again unite for Afghanistan, unite for freedom of Afghanistan and gender equality, freedom of press, um, uh, freedom of expression. These are all indicated in the Quran and then I, I also mentioned it in my book, the, the Islamic Democracy Roadmap to Peace in the, in the Middle East. And thank you very much uh, for today. A good um, uh, week for you and I hope things turn around for the next week in Afghanistan. Have a nice day. Thank you.